Keeping your VMware private cloud infrastructure up to date is an essential part of preventing security exploits. I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, you'll see how SDDC Manager orchestrates the end-to-end -end upgrade of a VMware software-defined data center. Once SDDC Manager has been updated and the appropriate software bundles are in place, you can initiate the process. The first component to upgrade in VMware Cloud Foundation is VMware NSX. VCF takes care of upgrading everything, including edge clusters, host clusters, and NSX managers. Various pre-checks, backups, and confirmations are performed during the process in order to ensure the new environment will be reliable. Infrastructure upgrades take time, but since they are done without disrupting applications, many customers find they do not need to limit the activities to narrow maintenance windows. After the NSX environment has been updated, the next step is to upgrade vCenter server. If something unexpected happens during the upgrade, it's a good practice to take a backup before starting. You can monitor the status of the vCenter server upgrade, and once it's complete, the final infrastructure component is VMware ESXi. By default, all clusters in the workload domain will be upgraded, but you can manually select a specific cluster if needed, and you can opt for sequential cluster upgrades instead of parallel. The ESXi updates are executed by vSphere Lifecycle Manager, whether they were deployed using baselines or images. Each host in a cluster will be put into maintenance mode during the upgrade procedure. This will cause virtual machines to migrate with vMotion to other hosts in the cluster without downtime for your applications. Sometimes there are additional configuration updates to apply as part of a VCF upgrade workflow. Be sure to check the Updates tab for any additional tasks that pertain to your environment. After executing all of the updates, you can go back and review the release version section to verify that your workload domain is compliant with the latest BOM. Once the management domain is upgraded, you can proceed with the upgrades for the remaining workload domains as needed. Now you have a good understanding of VCF lifecycle management and the processes that administrators use to keep VMware private clouds up to date. For more information, visit the VMware Cloud Foundation website.